I'm here with school committee candidate Brian Carp. Brian, thanks for joining us on HCAM News. Nice to be here, Tom. Thanks. Uh, can you talk about some of your um, background information and things you've done in the community? Absolutely. Uh, we moved here uh, back in 2005, and shortly after that, I got involved with Girl Scouts. I've got two young I had two young daughters, uh, so I got involved with Girl Scouts then, and eventually became a co-leader. Through that, I made a lot of connections and joined the HPTA. Uh, at my time in the HPTA, I served as the Elmwood Art Room Volunteer Coordinator. Uh, after that, I got into politics. I uh, was appointed a member of Zoning Advisory Committee, served on Zoning Advisory Committee for two years, and for the last four years I've been on Planning Board. So what made you want to run for school committee? There were a few things that made me run for, want to run for school committee. First thing was, um, when I first saw the budget, come, the proposed budget come out, and I saw five and a quarter percent, I said, that seems a little high, and I wanted to look into that. So I started doing some investigation. Shortly after that, there was uh, the school calendar issue. And that's what, decided me, that's what made me decide to get, pull my papers. I pulled my papers, got my signatures, turned them in, and I was still a little bit on the fence. But the more I thought about it, I said, this is something I really want to do. And I put my whole heart into it. So what are your goals if elected to the school committee? So if elected to school committee, what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the format of the way the meetings are held. Right now, the way meetings are held, there's a portion of the meeting before new business uh, called uh, public comment. And then there's a portion after old business called public comment. Those are the only two times that people get to actually come into the meeting and speak. What I'd like to do is what a lot of what I'd like to see happen is what happens in a lot of the other uh, committees and boards and departments where it's more of an open, welcoming discussion. If we have an open discussion during the meeting, people will be more apt to come to the meetings, people will be more engaged and more interested, and the committee members can actually prob make a better informed decision. I'd also like to revert back to the traditional holidays. Uh, the, Taking away the holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Good Friday creates a lot of stress on families. The children, the students, they need to figure out, do I need to go to school so I don't get behind? And in that, in that situation, they're not practicing their faith, they're not with their families. Do I go to temple, do I go to church and practice my faith with my family? In that case, they're behind in school. So I'd like to get those holidays back. We've had school committees who initiated those holidays in the years past and they've kept them up and I think that we need to get them back on the calendar. The other thing that I would do is I would look at the budget. As I said before, I'd look a lot, as I have done, I, I would look closely at the budget and, in, and ask the hard questions. I would ask things to find out why we're spending money this way or why we're proposing money this way. My goal is to get a good school committee, get a good school budget that is fiscally responsible to all the taxpayers in the town. So what experiences or skills do you bring that you feel will serve to benefit the school committee? Well, what I bring with me, first of all, is I bring a different point of view. It, I bring something that will be not business as usual. I also bring with me good communication skills, good listening skills. People tell me uh, stories, I listen to them, I try to get, I'll, I'll do my best to try to get those situations fixed. I also bring with me a lot of years of public service um, and, and I will continue to do everything that I can to serve the community as best as I possibly can in the way that I have. All right, Brian, well, best of luck at the ballot box on May 18th, and thanks for joining us on HCAM News. Thank you, Tom.